All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I want to go over what companion objects are and what objects are when it comes to Kotlin. So let's get started immediately by creating our sample project as always. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to our source file and create a new Kotlin file dot class. And we are going to click on object this time. And we're gonna call this object numbers and then click on enter. Now you may be wondering, what is an object? Well, an object is just a data type with a single implementation. And that actually means that this can never be instantiated because there's only one instance of it. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So the first thing we want to do inside here is create a value called app name, for example, and we're gonna call that objects tutorial. And then we can also add a function inside here that says, hello mate. And we will add the print line statement inside here that prints to the console, hello mate, with an exclamation mark. Great, so we've created our object. Now let's pretend we want to print the app name to the console. Usually you would have to instantiate a class and then refer to the variable. But with objects, you can just type in the object name and refer to the variable directly. So if we just print line the statement, you will see that we will have the app name printed directly to the console. And this is great since we only want one instance of this app name. We don't need to recreate it many times. We just want it to exist one time throughout our entire project. And down below, we can also add another function called numbers.hellomates. And let's just tidy that up and click on play. So you will see it says objects tutorial, which is the app name. And then it will say numbers hello mate, which is the print line function that we have defined in our object of numbers. And that's a very basic way to use this object. Now we can actually move on to another example, which is how to use companion objects. So inside here, we're gonna create a class, which we will call apple. And inside here, we will immediately create a companion object by typing in companion object. And that requires us to create a block. And inside here, we will create a private var, which is called x, and we will assign the value of zero to it. And then we'll write private constant value y because we will never change this value and it is perfect the way it is. Then inside this companion object, we will type in function random number and this will create a value of random, which will take a random number, which is specified between x and y and it will call random. And then right below, we will type in print line random number equals random number, which equals our random number that we generated right above. Now, exactly the same way we just called hello mate without having to instantiate numbers, we can do the same thing with Apple. So we can type in Apple and it will say random number function, which is really cool because we can just skip all the nonsense and go right to the function that we do not require to be created more than once. So let's click on play and you will see that it says random number is 20. And the nice thing about this companion object is that if we decide to create a function inside our Apple class, let's say function fruit, and we want to use the value of X or the value of Y, we can just type in X equals 20 and it will let us use it. And we can also use the functions that we defined inside the companion object. So we can just type in random number and then up here, of course, before we can use this fruit function, we have to instantiate apple. So we have to write value apple equals apple. And then down here, we can type in apple fruit. All right, so there's actually one small change I want to do before I continue with this function. And that is changing this back to a variable and, chain, and leaving that at 30. Then down here, we can type y equals 100. And I want to change x actually to 50. So inside here, we assigned the value of 50 to X and assigned the value of 100 to Y, which means our new random number is gonna be in between 50 and 100. So that's pretty cool as well that we already have the function made and we can just call it down here. So when we call apple.fruit, we'll have a random number between 50 and 100. So as you can see there, the first one we printed was the apple.random number, which was 15. And then we got a random number again which was in between 50 and 100. But I really hope that helped you understand a little more about objects and companion objects. 
And as always, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave it in the comment section below. I will do my best to read it and answer it. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next Kotlin tutorial, which should be covering lambda expressions. And that is quite an exciting topic.